guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to use Veeam to back up your NFS share and then restore files from it in case, you know, for some ungodly reason, someone decides to delete a file on accident and then you're like, where, 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 where can I recover my files? So this video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy my content, want to sponsor me or send me some free swag, let me know. My email is in the description below. So let's get started, guys. All right, so we will RDP to our Veeam server here and I'll log into Veeam. Uh, yes, and here we go. So we'll open open up the console for Veeam here and connect. Um, so we'll be using our Synology NAS um, NFS share that we, we've set up that you can mount both the NFS and SMB if we wanted to kind of show you in, in the demo a little bit. So. Um, while that loads up, we can actually go to our share here real quick right now. Um, nine volume one, and then the share is called volume one here. And log in. Oh, actually, I think it's just volume one. Give a second. Um, for SMB, it's just volume one. Yeah. So we got our NFS test, and we got a test test.txt in here. Um, so we'll just be kind of referencing those files as we kind of go here. Um, so the first thing that you want to do um, is actually add your file share here. So we can go to file shares here um, under inventory, click add a file share. Um, and in this case, we're going to do an NFS share because that's what we're doing. You could do Samba, it would have been the same thing. Um, we don't have a NAS file. That would, that would be kind of interesting if we did, but that's production feature anyways. Um, and if you did like a file server, you would have to do something else. So what we really want to do here um, is just adding an NFS share. So what we'll do is type in the address and then for, for the volume is actually volume one, volume one is what we have um, it, when we did it. You can reference our um, Synology video um, in regards to finding out the mount path. Um, but we're just mounting to our Synology NFS share. So we'll save that. Um, we'll hit apply here. Um, and it will essentially download all the things it needs to set up for the NFS backup um, on the NFS share. So uh, that's all good. We'll hit next and then we'll hit finish. So now we have our NFS share here. We can right click on it and click add to backup job. So we'll create a new job for this. So it'll be a file backup. Hit next. Um, in here, we can actually customize it a little bit in case you want to, you know, say, hey, these certain files I don't want. So like in this case, dot snapshot or anything with a snapshot in it won't be included. Otherwise include everything else, right? So you can specify if you have specific files you want to back up and other things that you don't want to back up. But we'll leave as default for us. So then we'll hit next. Um, so you can have a few options. So you can keep all file versions for so many days, in this case, 28 is the default, which is give or take the a month, depending on the month, obviously. Um, you can make it months, you can make it more. So it depends on what your backup policy is that you want, but by default, it's 28 days. I'm gonna leave it as default for now. Um, if you want to do archive version thingies, this is also um, a product feature uh, that you would need to pay for. Um, so in the community edition, it doesn't, um, include it, but we won't have to worry about that in this case. It'll still do what we want to do. And then we can run this job automatically. We'll just do it daily, essentially. So it'll get a snapshot of all the files daily. Um, so then we'll hit next, it'll save settings. And then I'm going to check the box down here that says run job when I click finish. Um, so it will essentially start the job, it'll run it, and we can go here to see it actually run where it will actually do a complete file backup of what is currently in the NFS share right now, um, which it's only two files that actually don't have any content in it. That's why there's zero kilobytes, um, but it should be very quick. So, you know, it can read it, read it really quick where, you know, hey, there's two, we're gonna transfer two and we'll let this continue on. So um, I'll fast forward for when this finishes. It, it, it'll take a few seconds, but should be that long. Okay, so now we, we see that I backed up two files, it finished everything and we are all set. So to kind of give a little bit of test to make it actually actually a good test, what we'll do is actually delete a file in the share. So we'll delete text.txt. Uh, so now 
this is your unfortunate case that someone accidentally deleted a file and went, well, we need to restore that file because it was a very important file, right? So to do so, what you can do is you can actually go um, up here and go to restore in your home and click file share. So there's a few things that you can do um, in regards to, you know, picking options. So there's the instant file share recovery, which will essentially create a new mount and you can essentially access all the files um, that was in that backup so that you could like copy and paste, copy over the ones that you want if you if you wanted to look at. Uh, so essentially it's a point in time uh, share recovery. It doesn't actually restore the files specifically to that. You have to actually do, do that yourself. Or you can restore the entire share, which will essentially restore the entire share up from that point. Um, what we'll actually do is restore individual files and folders uh, because this is probably what most people will actually end up doing. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll pick our job, pick our volume, and then we'll hit browse. Um, so now we give it a few seconds to essentially figure out what it needs. Um, and then it should pop up with essentially this is the latest time in our job and it saw this file. So we can select the file and we can click restore. Now you got two options to restore essentially. You can overwrite. Um, so if, if the existing file exists already, it would overwrite. Now, if the file is already there, it would rename and keep the existing file. But in this case, since we know it's deleted, we can just overwrite and it will just essentially um, copy over. So we'll click that. Obviously it's a zero by kilobyte file, so there really won't be much copying. It'll just be, hey, we just created a file. Um, but essentially, you will see this restored, uh, have been assigned, and give it a few more seconds, and it will essentially copy the file over, restore, and success. So now if we were to look back at our share, we can see, hey, the file appeared now. It's back. Um, so essentially, you now have that backup of that snapshot and we've restored that file. Now, we, we restored it from the time of the backup, right? So if this file was like deleted like you know, four hours later um, from the backup and people made edits, those won't, those edits won't be in that file, but it's still better than saying, hey, we don't have that file anymore, right? So that is one way to back up your NFS share um, and be able to just kind of make sure, hey, you know, I got the things that I need at least at a certain point in time. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.